YouTube, welcome back to a new video. Um, to be honest, I forgot which part this was. <laughs> I believe this is part 15, but picking up from the last part where I showed you guys some lighting uh, tips and tricks, uh, we're just going to save this render right here. We're just going to save this render and uh, we're going to take it into Photoshop and I'm going to show you guys some additional. Uh, things you can do to make this look even better. So, I think I'm going to uh, remove the floor. All right, so we just got our little character. I'm gonna go render, hit, and I'm going to render the image, image, and go save as right here. Call it thing you want. Um, go to a render. Tutorial. Okay, we hit save. I want to make the camera size 1920 by 1080 with a resolution of 100 right here. I'm gonna hit create, bring your render in the scene. Here we go. Very nice little render. Very nice render here. Uh, we're gonna go to the background, so just click, click on your foreground color, and let's go for a dark gray, gray color. We're gonna hit alt and backspace. And uh, let me see if I should go a bit darker. It's pretty cool. I like that. All right, let's just kick it off by right clicking and going to blending options right here. Let's click on inner shadow, turn up the opacity, and let's make the color white. Make the mode into overlay. Okay, let's take off, use global light, just the angle, distance choke and size pretty cool we go for a bevel and emboss um, you could copy my settings right here we go overlay on these two so now we got something like this we go for a satin go into white over overlay now we got something like this let's hit okay and now this is where the fun begins there are a ton of things we could do here. <laughs> There's a lot, okay. Let's start off, uh, let's copy our layer by hitting Control J on the keyboard. And uh, so, let's right click and let's go convert to smart objects. And now we're gonna hit new layer, right click and we're gonna hit create copy mask. Now, let's go ahead and let's use our brush tool, right? Here are my settings, my hardness is at 0%, is at 0%, and my opacity and flow is, uh, my flow is at 27 and my opacity is at 53. I'm just gonna, uh, I'm gonna go for a blue color. That's, now you can start painting, some lighting. We could do add some blue, or we could add some orange here. Okay, it's along the edge. Take our blue back, make some blue. Go. We change the mode into overlay. And as you can see, got some blue. We can copy um, this very easily by holding Alt and dragging and dropping on the layer, dragging out top, and you can see. If you let go, there is your layer. You can uh, right click and go back to the mask, bring that back in. We can make the mode into screen this time. We go. Um, we could also click on our layer and let's go for the burn tool. Let's rasterize the layer. Um, you can make it, I mean, you should make a copy just in case you want to go back. But basically, what burn does is let me show you. You can see burn. Right? I want to know the words, it makes it darker. 
<laughs> you can use this to make your clothing pop out more as well. It's pretty useful. Let me show you guys after I do this myself. Difference um, kind of pops out a little bit now. Uh, the chain part is kind of rough. I'm going to undo that. Um, you could adjust the exposure so it's not as strong. There we go. You could use this. You could use this on anywhere else as well. Darken these areas. That, as well as these areas, add some contrast. I mean, there we go. Cool. Um, we also got my character slaves right here, which we could also shadows too. go you can see our character is really really coming to life um, also the, the pants right here the little rips we could also add some shadows to these as well as you can see shoes I mean and if you go to dodge this will just make it lighter this will do the opposite this one to add some highlights. No. That right there. Screen, copy, let's go for overlay. Now we have some nice clothes. And now to finalize everything, let's click on the top layer, hold shift, click on the bottom to have everything selected. Right click, convert to smart objects, make control J to make a copy. Right click and go rash rise layer, go control J once more. Now I'm gonna go to filter camera, raw filter, which I have covered in a uh, previous part just touching on it but now you can see we're gonna see firsthand why this tool is valuable increase texture boom we got clarity you can see if we increase clarity the contrast uh, increases a lot so we got to we got adjust the shadows a little bit we got the whites values we got the blacks Contrast exposure nicely and decrease a little bit. So you see that right there. We got vibrance and saturation. We got detail, uh, noise reduction. This gives it a smooth kind of look if you are into that. Uh, we got sharpening. We have a, a little bit, I guess. We're just gonna hit OK. And we could tone this down by dropping the opacity to 70 or 55. 
now as you can see we have a very very nice looking character if you ask me um, I try to make this entire process as simple as I possibly can and I believe this is uh, this is quite simple um, um, I mean if you're new to graphics there's a lot of resources out um, today but when I first started you had to put a lot of effort into even get a result like this one um, so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope this helps you guys uh, I'm really tired it's it's uh, 2 a.m. but uh, yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope this helps you guys share this with a friend anybody that you think this could help so yeah with that being said I'm going to see you guys in the next